welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing great it's saturday morning and we are out for shopping so today we decided to come to whole food market so i'm gonna take you guys along show you everything i came here after such a long time so i'm so excited about all this because you get such a nice things here so let me take you around and show you what they have These are all handmade soaps and look at this one. This is so pretty. Look at this one. These are even much nicer than the other one and they smell so good. Guys, if you are a big fan of kava just like me, then they do have all their sauce uh, here. So if you have a whole food market next to you, I would definitely say go and get those uh, sauces because uh, they all are so good. My favorite one is this one, Harissa. It is spicy and it is so good. So I would say definitely if you haven't tried this one, do try it. Guys, if you are looking for the healthy version of the bread, then all this kind of bread, they are really good. Uh, they are sprouted, so it's not typical bread and you can find it in the frozen section. So basically you just have to either put it in the toaster or the oven, but they are so healthy and so good. So the best part about the whole food market that I like is they can make the fresh food basically whatever you wanted uh, they can make it here so they have the asian center there they do have the sandwich over there and that section guys i don't know if you remember but it was a long time ago i don't even know i guess more than a year ago i came here because over there every saturday in the morning they uh, make the dosa so they give you the entire platter for like about six dollars they have a one dosa two idli two mandu veda uh, chutney sambar as well as the chai so just for that actually i came one time to see uh, it was so good but seemed like it uh, it is not here um, maybe because of all this you know he might be not coming who knows but uh, that was one of the things that I was so excited. I was like, if that guy is there, definitely I want to eat dosa. But he's not there. Uh, but let me show you all these other uh, fresh food that they make here. You guys, this is what I'm talking about. It's a international weekend brunch. And right there, it's a traditional South Indian breakfast. And it's from 8 to 1. So, of course, I miss that. <laughs> they don't have that.
Guys, this one is the tandoori chicken pizza. I wish they don't have a chicken on it so I can try it, but it looks so yummy. Guys, look at all this cupcake. I wish I can buy at least one of each because they look so tempting. Especially look at this one. This is the hamburger cake. Um, looks so nice. So let me show you what we got from Whole Food Market. And Whole Food Market is now owned by Amazon. So if you are an Amazon Prime member, you do get the discount there. So we got this pizza. The original price for that is $18, but we got it for $8. So let me show you. So we got this entire large size pizza for $8. And they also have this pre-made lasagna um, so i got one of that also we got some hummus um, this is some kind of drink and this one has a mac and cheese in it so we got one of this uh, bag this is basically cheese puff but the healthy version of that tortilla chips we got some pita uh, also we got prolon cheese this one is the lasagna which i already show you uh, falafel these are the frozen ones so we thought let's try it because we already got the pita so it's a perfect combination also roasted garlic pasta sauce this one i showed to you guys it is the peach uh, drink also this one is the golden berry this one is really yummy i got one of this harissa as well as the hummus pb and j bites raj is crazy about this and one cookie आजकल है ना रोज शाम को खाना खाने के बाद हम चारों की एक आदत हो गई है कि हम लोग वॉक लेने जाते ही जाते हैं तो यू नो ऑल फोर ऑफ एस एक्चुअली वी लुक फॉरवर्ड फॉर दैट कि चलो खाना हो गया किचन क्लीन हो गया ना चलो फटाफट बाहर चलते हैं वॉक करने के लिए तो इतना अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि शुरू में एक दो राउंड जब लगाते हैं ना तो हम चारों साथ में चलते हैं बातें करते हैं और इसके बाद बच्चे लाइक um, like, अपनी बातें उनकी शुरू हो जाती है और हम दोनों हमारी बातें करते रहते हैं तो इतना एक एक आई डोंट नो वट टू से पर इट्स इट्स लाइक बॉन्डिंग टाइम यू नो कि हमें घर से बाहर निकल के बस वॉक uh, करते हैं तो ऐसे ही जो भी बातें होती है पूरे दिन की हम सब शेयर करते हैं तो इतना मज़ा आता है ना तो आज वेदर भी अच्छा था तो इन आज का जो प्लान बनाना का इस जो होम गुड आई मीन नॉट होम गुड्स होल फूड मार्केट हम लोग गए तो इट वॉज़ लाइक ऑन द स्पॉट ऐसे कुछ हमारा प्लान नहीं था कि चलो वहाँ चलते हैं पर ऑल ऑफ एसर इज लाइक वी वे नथिंग टू डू सो वी लाइक ऑल यू नो लेट्स गो इट्स बीन सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम सिंस वी बिन देर सो फॉर दैट रीज़न वी वेंट एंड यस जो मैंने आज वीडियो पोस्ट किया ना ग्रॉसरी जो इंडिया से मेरी आई है सब कुछ उसके बारे में काफ़ी सारे क्वेश्चंस मुझे आ रहे हैं कि कौन से कहाँ से मैंने मंगवाया क्या है तो इंस्टेड ऑफ आंसरिंग ऑल ऑफ दैट ना इट्स बेटर फॉर मी टू डू द सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर इट सो दिस वीडियो आई विल पोस्ट इट ऑन मंडे फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विच आई विल डू इट दैट आई एम गना पोस्ट इट ऑन वेंसडे सो आल Uh, include all your questions in there so if you have any question for me just leave it leave the comments below on this one on this video if not that video and i will make sure that i i answer all that and actually we just came back from walk as you can see i'm so messy right now so i'm just going to go home take a shower and uh I made dinner so I'm going to share that recipe with you guys it was really simple nothing much because uh jo pizza hum leke aaye na wo bachcho ne to pizza khaya par hamare liye maine sabji aur khichdi bas banayi thi so and uh, ya yeah, ghee bhi banaya mujhe ghee bhi banana tha kaafi time se to wo bhi bana diya so I'll share that recipe with you guys but uh, I'm going to end this vlog so you guys wait and watch that uh, recipes but I will see you guys soon so take care good night Bye. So here I'm using this Wegmans brand unsalted butter. So whenever you want to make the ghee, you do want to use the unsalted butter and not the salted. You can use any brand that you like. I always get the Wegmans one. And uh in this one box there is a four sticks. So I'm using all four of them here. 
so whenever you make ghee first of all you do want to start with the very low temperature like low to medium when you start it but once you see it's bubbling like that then you want to lower the temperature on low and then i'll show you the next step but basically once you see it's bubbling like this you do want to just occasionally go and mix it like this So here after an hour or so, our ghee is ready. I'm still gonna keep it there just for a few minutes, but then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and strain it. And once it's cooled down completely, I usually put it in the freeze. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you make ghee. As you saw, it's really easy to make. It doesn't take, you know, only thing you need to keep in mind when you make the ghee, the temperature is the key. If you keep it on high, then chances are it will burn and the taste will not be good. Um, so just make sure the temperature is low. But other than that, that's it. And for dinner, I'm making aloo bangan sabji. Very simple one. Um, as you see here, I do have some oil. Into that, I add some mustard seed, asafoetida. Then I add some potato. Once the potato is about 50% cooked, I add the uh, eggplant. And now I'm gonna let the eggplant cook, but uh, before that happened, I'm also adding all the masalas in there first. So first I will go ahead and add some red chili powder. Also adding some holy powder. and some dhania jeera powder i'll go ahead and mix everything and uh, usually this is how i make it because since all potato and eggplant is uh, cooking uh, all the masala will get properly mixed in there so of course you can wait until both of the vegetables is cooked cook completely <laughs> and then add it if not you can just go ahead and so this is very very simple sabji and as you saw I add all the masala while both of the vegetables is cooking but of course you can add it once it gets cooked completely but if you add it before like I added here then while both of the vegetables is getting cooked all the masala will get cooked properly and everything will get mixed properly also because after I mix all this properly I'm gonna add some water and then we'll just make sure the eggplant gets cooked properly. I'm also adding some I'm also adding some kitchen king masala and now both of the vegetables has cooked properly so I'm gonna go ahead and add some water in here. So here sabji is ready and as you can see consistency of this gravy it is perfect and if you do want to keep the gravy thicker side then all you need to do is with the help of spatula you can just go and mush a couple of potato like this and then uh, your gravy will be thick so here sabji is ready my ghee is done also and here i'm making just the plain khichdi i'm not making the khichdi that i like it um, so if you do want to see the recipe for this i do have the video so i'm gonna link it down below but yeah that's it that will be our dinner for tonight and yes i will be making chash as well as the popper so thank you so much for watching guys take care and i will see you soon in my next video bye